So person in the comments who I almost kind of came for a little bit, I understand what you're saying. If the salt got all over your pizza and it's a little bit harder to flick off of the pizza as it is the crust because it just flakes right off. It just falls right off of the crust. Not so much the pizza because it seems like it's baked in there or melted in there with the cheese. So it can get a bit salty if it happens to fall on the pizza. Again, my suggestion, light to no salt on the crust. Stay tuned until the end for my rating. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me here at Freddy Cook's International Soul Food. Today, we're going to be doing a mukbang and review of Little Caesars Stuffed Pretzel Crust Extra Pepperoni Pizza. <clears throat> Without further ado, I just want to go ahead and let you see what I have. Oh, looks so good. It does look good, actually. It looks very good. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and get into it because I'm really, really, really hungry, really, really super excited to try this. I'm going to be drinking Blue Raspberry Check, courtesy of Winn-Dixie. I normally like to drink colas when I eat pizza, but I didn't have any cola in the refrigerator already. I do have some cola, but I don't have ice in my refrigerator. Or I'm sorry, ice in my fridge. That's a different story that we don't even need to talk about. Um, so this was already cold. That's what I have. Now, let me share with you. Now, I haven't even tasted pizza, but Little Caesars is a favorite. I'm expecting it to be delicious. This is what a lot of people don't know about. It's the jalapeno cheese sauce, the cheesy jalapeno sauce. They sell cheese sauce. Now, okay, I've got to take the first bite. And stop running my mouth. How y'all doing out there? I had no idea what I was going to eat today. Had no idea. Let me taste the pizza. I'll taste the crust later. You can have a bite. Hey, the first bite. Taste it. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it cheese? Sauce on the crust instead of oh instead of marinara there's no marinara there's cheese sauce on the crust oh what mm 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 Now, let me tell you something about this pizza. When I saw a comment about this, one comment said it was so salty they couldn't eat it. Now, the pizza is not salty at all. This has salt on it. I would suggest... The, just to flick some of this off if you don't like the saltiness. Duh! But that one bite did have a lot of saltiness in it. I don't mind it because I like a lot of flavor. I like a lot of seasoning. And that was a little too much. But... You can actually modify it by just taking some of the salt off of there. That salt. Just take some off. Mm. 
I'm not going to say what I was wanting to say. Actually, yes, I am. People can be so extra. People can be so extra. Like the comment said, the pizza was so salty they couldn't even eat it. I see what they're talking about. The crust is really salty and all of those little white specks. It's salt and it can be overwhelming. But it comes off. <laughs> Look. You can actually take it off to your preference. If you don't like all of that. Just take it off. And no, it's not salty anymore. Like you could still eat the pizza. Do you not have enough sense to just flake it off? Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Hmm. That's good to me. They did get a little salt on the pizza there. And it is pretty salty. If it actually gets on the pizza. Not much got on the pizza. But I am just going to scrape some of the saltiness off. Because it does get a little salty. From the court, coarse salt sprinkles around the crust. So I understand the comment, but at the same time, we can fix that. I'm not mad. And perhaps the person who made the pieces got a little heavy handed, not really realizing how salty these little salt, salt specks are. Normally, I don't mind heavy handedness because by pepperoni, get heavy handed with the pepperoni. Salt, not so much, but normally being heavy handed is not a bad thing. Until it comes to the salt. If you did not know Little Caesar sells cheesy jalapeno sauce, Little Caesar sells cheesy jalapeno sauce to dip your jalapeno sauce into. So, Maybe I haven't even reviewed the pizza yet and eight minutes in. I like it. I love Little Caesars, period. The pizza is good. They have just the pretzel crust. I've got the stuffed pretzel crust, which has cheese on the inside of the crust. So let me just tell you. It is a little salty. The crust is. Because all those little white specks that you see is coarse salt. And it's really salty there. And I like seasoning, but even I have to scrape some of the salt off. When you scrape most of the salt off, then it's edible and very, very good, especially in the cheese sauce, the cheese jalapeno sauce that they have.
And so after seeing this review, let me just help you out real quick. If you want to try this pizza, just tell them to go light on the salt. Light on the crust salt. And you should be fine. That's the only comment I have about this pizza. It does get a little bit salty because this salt, I don't know what kind of extra salty salt they used. This is like cement. So, I mean, this is like the salt you put on the streets. It's so big and coarse. Does get a little salty. I think I would ask if I were you. Very light salt on the crust. The crust is really good anyways. You can do no salt on the crust. Mm -hmm. If you do no salt on the crust, then you Decrease the chances that you're going to get it on the pizza and you don't have to flick it after because that is salty. So maybe that person who had all the salt on the pizza the last time, maybe they had a really heavy handed person and they got all over their pizza. So I can see how that can be too salty if it got all over the pizza. See? I can see how that can be too salty if it got all over that pizza. If we go with no salt on the crust, this crust is a the crust is amazing. It's nice and fluffy and soft. You don't even need the salt. That salt is really strong. Like it's really potent. Yeah, Little Caesars. You can't cut back on the salt. More pepperoni, less salt. <laughs> mm. I'm full. I should have been able to eat at least two more slices. Okay.
I'm ready to give a final review. I'd like to give a formal apology to that person who I don't even remember who the name is who left a comment on somebody else's video saying how salty the pizza was. And I did everything short of a clap back of saying that just dust it off. <clears throat> However, come on. If the salt gets on your pizza, it's a lot harder to, to flake off <coughs> than if it got on the crust alone. So I can see how the pizza become at that point too salty to eat. Pizza is delicious minus the salt. So my suggestion, and this is a very wise suggestion, take it or leave it. It is what it is. I'm just giving it to you. The pizza is delicious. The crust is delectable. Especially if you get the stuffed crust, the stuffed pretzel crust. You don't need the salt. Just don't even need the salt at all. Not at all. Because the salt is so very, it's coarse. It's very, very potent. And you don't need it. So the pizza minus the salt I will give an A minus the pizza as it is with the salt. And if the person who makes the pizza is heavy handed and just trying to go fast and getting all over the pizza, then at that point it will be a D. And this is probably the lowest rating pizza uh, that I would give a Little Caesars pizza is a D. But it is too salty when it gets on the pizza. However, Otherwise, mm. the watch is good. I'm full already. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have already tried the Little Caesars, and I know many of you are going to be like, I don't even like Little Caesars. Blah, 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 blah. Well, good. Little Caesars is still a favorite of mine. They just missed the mark with the salt. I see what they were trying to do because it is a crust, the pretzel crust. The salt is just too overpowering if they put too much on there. Don't eat the salt. Just do the, just do the crust. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Mm. That's it. That's all. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. Freddy Cruz International here again with another Freddy Cruz International Soul Food video. Signing off. Until next time.